With a script department subscription, an optional in-app purchase, you can save time breaking down and lining scripts, taking notes, logging data, and making daily reports. Here's how it works. To get started, email a script PDF to yourself. Open the email on your iPad. Long tap the PDF icon and choose to import it into MovieSlate. On later versions of iOS, tap the PDF icon to view the script. To import into MovieSlate, tap here if this button is available, or tap the Share button, then the MovieSlate icon. MovieSlate project setup is easy. Simply tap on a field to change the production info, like Project, Director, Frame Rate. Next, indicate whether the production uses a single cam or multi cam workflow. The settings screen has separate markup preferences for each workflow. Choose your script PDF, its revision, page count in eighths, scene count, and optional running time. Enter the shooting day. Indicate which scenes will be shot on this shooting day for use in progress reports. Enter the shooting date and call time. Later in the day, you can enter meal and wrap times. MovieSlate continuously calculates count totals for pages, scenes, setups, times, and wild lines, which will be shown in green at the bottom of these fields. You can adjust count totals by entering your own positive or negative offset amounts into these fields, shown in white. Optionally, enter a day note which will appear in progress reports. Each shooting day will have its own note. Tap on the timecode display to set it, using an optimized keypad to enter new values, or display clock time of day, or you can also sync timecode with compatible sound recorders, cameras, and timecode generators. Tap the log and mark button to start logging and marking the script. To change script pages, swipe left, right, or up, down. From the settings screen, choose your preferred direction, scrolling style, and whether to show a thumbnail bar at the bottom of the screen. Or tap one of the grid buttons to view thumbnails of all pages. Tap the go to button to quickly scroll through all the page thumbnails. Tap the edit button to delete, insert, copy, paste, or rotate pages. Tap the check mark button when you're done editing. Tap the select button and choose existing pages to replace with pages from other PDFs without losing any of your handwritten notes or coverage lines. Tap on a thumbnail to work with that page. Change pages by tapping the thumbnail bar. Tap this button to bookmark a page making it easier to find later from the thumbnail bar. Tap the search box to find a piece of dialogue and go to that page. Tap the plus button to view another PDF. Choose Open PDF and Tab to open multiple PDFs each in their own tab. Choose Open PDF in Pane to view another PDF side by side with the current PDF. Tap this button to close the other PDF. If you have a hardware keyboard connected, hold down the command key to view a list of keyboard shortcuts. Type the command and W keys to close the other PDF. Now let's start logging the scene and take information that's used to create reports. Tap the scene button to show or hide the data fields. The slated scene is comprised of three fields an optional prefix, such as R for reshoot, or X for second unit, the actual script scene that appears in progress reports, and an optional setup, often a letter. Enter the take number. Swipe up down on many fields to quickly enter the next or previous logical value. Enter this scene's time duration in seconds, and whether the partial or complete scene is being shot today. 
enter the number of pages for this scene in eighths and whether the scene should be credited in progress reports. Enter the script page number for this scene. Tap the Build New Facing Page button to build a facing page report for this page and insert it into the script PDF. Create or edit optional notes about recent scenes and takes by tapping this menu button. Or create and edit notes about this scene by tapping the Notes field itself. Text can be entered by tapping the Customizable Snippets list, or from the on-screen keyboard, or from a connected hardware keyboard. Tap this camera button to create an image note from a photograph. Enter the optional sound role. Enter the role for camera A. Enter the framing for camera A, which is often a three-letter abbreviation. You can edit these abbreviations and other snippets from the settings screen. Enter the subject being photographed by camera A, which is generally an actor or character name. Tap the More button to log optional camera metadata such as frame rate, shutter speed, focal length, filter, file name, and more. To enter this data for other cameras, swipe the camera fields left or right. Or tap on a camera letter, tap the current camera letter to enter camera specific notes that will appear in editor's logs and facing page reports, along with camera metadata. Tap the Cameras button to choose which cameras were active for the current or next shot. Tap the Edit button to assign camera letters, names, and colors. Tap the Clear button to clear all camera colors, or the Rainbow button to restore default colors. Tap the A to Z button to restore default camera letters. Tap the Scene button to hide the data fields. Each time the director calls action, tap the Start Take button. Tap here to create take notes. Tap here to note particular quality issues. Tap or swipe the stars to rate general sound or picture quality. Tap here to stop a false take. When the director calls Cut, tap the End Take button. The take field can be set to auto increment when the take ends or reset to one when any of the slated scene fields change. Tap the circle T button to circle recent takes and cameras. You can also credit scenes that were shot by second or third units. To do so, tap the scene fields plus button to add more scenes to credit along with this scene in progress reports. MovieSlate automatically counts the scene's camera setups, but you can override the computed setup count by tapping this button in the setup field. With no tools selected, double tap a page to zoom in. Double tap again to zoom out. Pinch to zoom to a particular scale. Tap once to hide toolbars. Tap again to show toolbars. Tap the Tabs button to show or hide the tab bar at the bottom of the screen. Tap the Pencil button to show or hide the script annotation tools. At your fingertips are all the tools needed to create annotations that stick to the script PDF. Script coverage lines, or tram lines for short, visually indicate a setup's coverage. Straight lines for on-camera, squiggly lines for off-camera. Tap the Tram Line Text tool to add a bubble with text for the current scene, take, and or time code. You can choose which from the settings screen, along with the bubble's shape. Tap the tool again to add or remove the bubble from the selection. Tap the Tram Line tool to add a vertical line below the selected tram line text, or to the side of the page when there's no selected text. Tap the tool again to add another line, and another. Fix mistakes with the Undo and Redo tools. Select the tram lines in text and drag them into position. Or copy them, go to another page, and paste. With header text selected, tap the tram line text tool to add or remove bubbles. To stretch or shrink the lines, drag one of the selection handles up or down. Use the eraser tool to erase a section of the straight line, 
Then use the pen tool to draw squiggly lines to fill the gap. Use the color tool to change annotation colors, line thickness, and opacity. The pen tool can also create handwritten note annotations. Use the eyeball tool to mark any annotation as public or private. MovieSlate can optionally remove your private annotations from exported PDF pages that you share with colleagues. This is great for creating private notes that only you can see. An Apple Pencil Stylus can speed script marking and lining, making handwritten notes more legible. Some Apple Pencils can be double tapped to change tools. From the settings screen, you can choose which tools to cycle between. So each time you double tap the pencil, the Ink Pen tool is active, or the Eraser tool is active, or the Selection tool is active, or No tool is active. Tap the time display to add its text as a PDF annotation. Or, to switch between timecode and stopwatch, tap the stopwatch button to start or pause the timer. Tap the lap button to log performance laps. These are performances that are repeated without cutting to another take. Performance laps are saved as notes, which appear on the history screen editor's logs, and facing pages reports. Automatically number a script's PDF dialog blocks and highlight script characters and their dialog. To get started, tap the theater mask tool. Enter the number of the first PDF page containing actual dialog, then tap the scan button. A list of character names appears sorted alphabetically. This column shows how many lines of dialog each character has. Tap the Most Lines button if you prefer to sort the list by dialog count instead of alphabetically. Tap the Edit button to remove certain characters from the list. This can be helpful if scanning the PDF mistakenly identified some text as a character name. Tap on a character name to add highlight annotations to the PDF above each character's dialog blocks using a specific color or tap the switch next to the character name to add highlight annotations using the next available color. Or tap the All button to add highlight annotations for all characters using distinct colors for each. To delete all of a character's highlight annotations, tap its switch. To delete highlight annotations for all characters, tap the None button. Tap the Gear button to choose what is highlighted in addition to character names. Parentheticals, these are direction notes that appear in parentheses, dialogue directly below a character name, and or character names anywhere they appear in the PDF, not just above dialogue. Choose whether new highlight annotations will be public or private. Tap the Done button to hide the settings. Tap the Trash Can button to clear the list of character names. This can be helpful after choosing a new PDF or importing additional pages. Tap the Dialog Numbers button to create annotations for dialog blocks indicating each block's sequence within the script. Tap the Add Numbers button to number the dialog blocks sequentially and add those numbers as annotations near each block. You can lock existing number annotations to prevent them from being selected accidentally while marking the script. Tap the Remove Numbers button to remove all dialog block number annotations. Choose Annotation Placement, Font, Size, Color, and other options from the bottom of the screen. For instance, you can choose to add the number annotations to the immediate left or right of a character name, or in the margin to the far right of a character name. MovieSlate can create breakdown reports after scanning a script PDF. Choose a PDF, then tap the Breakdown button. Enter the number of the first page that contains actual dialog. Then tap the Scan button to import a script's slug lines, scenes, acts, if any, characters, story days, page counts, scene running times, and optionally, time of day. After scanning, a list of scenes appears on the left. If the script PDF did not include scene numbers, MovieSlate offers to number the scenes for you. 
Tap the Edit button to sort acts and scenes. This particular script has no acts. Scenes logged with data appear in green. Scenes that have not yet been shot appear in blue. Only blue scenes can be deleted. From the list on the left, tap a scene to view its details on the right. Scene details are organized by categories, scene, synopsis, cast, and elements like extras, props, costumes, and more. Tap on the Scene Category button. Scene, Act, Page Count, and Time fields appear. Their contents were scanned or computed from the PDF. Tap on a field to edit its text, replacing the scanned or computed value. From the Settings screen, you can choose whether to auto-compute page counts and estimate time duration based on a shooting pace. Optionally, enter values for Story Day, Day of Week, time of day, schedule shoot day, and date. Later, on a production shooting day, many of these values can be used to pre-populate logging text fields without you having to enter the values all over again. Tap the Synopsis Category button to edit the scene's slug line and description. Tap a character from the cast snippets at the far right to enter a character name into the description field. Tap the Add button to add horizontal ruler line annotations to the PDF above each slug line. This can help to visually separate scenes in your script. Tap a scene or the scene button and return to the scene's breakdown details. Tap the color wheel button to change the ruler line's color. Tap a scene or the scene button again to show the scene's breakdown details. Tap the remove button to delete the ruler lines. Tap the cast category button to edit characters who appear in the selected scene. Tap this color swatch button to choose an element category's color. Each category has a color used to colorize script elements in breakdown reports. If you enter a new character to the scene, it will also be added to the cast list snippets on the far right. You can also tap on a character in the All Cast Snippets to add it to the scene. Tap the Edit button to sort the list of all character names. Select a name from the list, then the Ellipsis button, and choose to alphabetize the list or rename a character. The character is renamed for all breakdown scenes. Tap the Done button to stop editing the cast snippets. Tap additional category buttons to edit other elements, like props, that will appear in breakdown reports. Optionally enter a character name, and then an element, one per line. You can also add breakdown elements without typing. Tap the Scene button at the top of the screen to hide the scene details and reveal the script PDF. Select some text from the script PDF. Tap the plus breakdown item in the menu. To change the element's capitalization, tap the AA button. Choose a category for the element. Tap the on-off switch to simultaneously create a highlight annotation for the element. Tap the Add Element button. Tap the PDF Highlights button to add or delete highlight annotations for a specific element category or for all categories. MovieSlate can promptly create script reports for you using breakdown data, shots you've logged, and pages you've marked. Choose the reports you want, breakdowns, marked scripts, progress reports, facing pages, editor's logs, and other PDFs. Choose the shooting day. Choose which script pages to export, bookmark pages, all pages, or use the keypad to enter specific pages. Choose whether to include your private annotations. All chosen reports are merged into a single PDF. From the Settings screen, you can configure email distribution lists for your reports, even on a per-project basis. And that's a quick tour of MovieSlate's script department for the iPad and for Macs with Apple Silicon chips. 
download from the App Store. 